The Laser 3 is an advanced infantry fighting vehicle developed and produced by the Serbian Defense Industry. Building upon the successful Laser 2 platform, the Laser 3 incorporates modern technologies and design features to provide enhanced firepower, mobility, and protection for the infantry troops it carries. This versatile IFV offers a combination of robust armor, a powerful armament system, and advanced situational awareness capabilities. With its capabilities suited for a wide range of combat scenarios, the Laser 3 is designed to meet the evolving needs of modern military forces and ensure effective support for ground operations. The Laser 3 is a substantial and robust vehicle, weighing up to 28,000 kilograms, which is equal to 62,000 pounds and measuring 7.92 meters, which is equal to 26 feet in length. It has a width of 2.95 meters, which is equal to 9 feet 8 inches, and a track width of 2.43 meters, which is equal to 8 feet, providing stability and maneuverability in various terrains. With a height of 2.32 meters, which is equal to 7 feet 7 inches, it offers sufficient headroom for the crew and passengers. The Laser 3 is designed to accommodate a crew of three personnel, including the driver, commander, and gunner, along with nine additional passengers who are typically infantry troops. This personnel capacity ensures effective transportation and deployment of troops in combat operations. The Laser 3 is powered by a diesel engine, generating 500 horsepower, which provides the vehicle with substantial power and performance. With its 8x8 wheel drive configuration, the Laser 3 offers excellent mobility and maneuverability across various terrains. The powertrain is accommodated in the front right side of the vehicle in a protected space completely separated from the crew. The central transfer case transmits the torque to all wheels that have independent suspension and provide for the vehicle's high mobility. All the shafts provide power, while the first two steer the wheels. The vehicle features an independent suspension system, further enhancing its off-road capabilities and providing a smooth ride for the crew and passengers. In terms of operational range, the Laser 3 can travel up to 800 km, which is equal to 500 miles on a full tank, allowing for extended missions without the need for frequent refueling. Additionally, it has a maximum speed of 110 km per hour, which is equal to 68 miles per hour, enabling rapid response and swift transportation of troops in both combat and non-combat scenarios. The Laser 3 features a comprehensive armor system designed to provide high levels of protection for the crew and passengers. It is equipped with smoke grenade launchers, which can deploy smoke screens to obscure the vehicle from enemy observation and provide additional protection. The hull is made of armored steel and can be fitted with a spall liner. The applied ballistic protection can be tailored to the specific needs of the user and allows for application of additional state-of-the-art ballistic protection technologies throughout the vehicle service life. The vehicle floor has two levels of anti-mine protection. The armor on the Laser 3 is built to meet Stanag Level 4 protection all around, ensuring defense against arms fire up to 14.5mm armor piercing rounds. Notably, the front of the Laser 3 is rumored to have enhanced protection up to Stanag Level 5, offering increased resistance against more powerful threats such as 25mm rounds. There have been rumors of potential Stanag Level 6 protection for the front, although specific details or confirmation regarding this level of armor are yet to be officially publicly released. Overall, the Lazar's armor system aims to provide a high level of survivability for the occupants in combat situations. Four versions of the Laser 3 have been developed. These versions include an armed variant equipped with a 12.7mm machine gun on a remote-controlled weapon station, providing accurate engagement capabilities while ensuring the safety of the crew. The driver and commander are positioned in the front of the vehicle. They can use side doors for the entrance and exit. Above their seats are hatches, the driver's hatch having a three-position lock one position being designed for locking the cover while driving with the open hatch. The driver and the commander have each three periscopes available for their use in the vehicle. The driver's seat is ergonomic and adjustable in vertical and horizontal planes. The steering column is also adjustable by height and angle. The crew compartment is located in the rear of the vehicle and provides enough space for various missions. 
This part of the vehicle can be accessed through the rear ramp, through the two doors embedded in this ramp or through the big hatches on the vehicle roof. The ramp is hydraulic operated by way of the powertrain. It can be activated both from the driver's compartment and the crew compartment. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.